Game 3 versus Little Vorlai. Oh, this is. Alright. The reason I'm doing O oh is because that means that if they are silver coming up here. I'm not mulliganing anymore, right? Uh, this is going to be the last game I think for this series. I will probably do some fun games, maybe playing something else. Oh, I don't want to fight freaking rogues. It's a surefire way for me to just not want to play this game. Maybe it's mono black aggro, and I'll take it back. Oh, yeah. yeah, if it's mono black aggro, I yeah, look. Yeah, I know. Like, like, it's the it's kind of the, a different end of the spectrum, I think, with rogues. Rogues and flash, like mono blue tempo, they are like the reverse of control, where they they are still trying to they're killing you quicker, but they're just doing it with. Okay. I guess that makes me think that they're. Uh, let's just hope they don't have another five discard spells. Alright, there's a red source. Okay. Let's see what they do on their turn. Four mana. They're about to start combat. Let's deal two damage, create a treasure token. There's another land. Let's. These three spells have got to be removal spells, so. Let's just play Wandering Mind and bait one of them out. Mm hmm. Helix will do. Helix will do nicely. They play the rider and they pass to us in our end step. Let's just exile this. Another cram sessions. Alright, let's just. Oh my god, did I not put in the. Uh... Okay. Crime session, environmental science, we'll skin to life. Get into the land, out of our deck, play the land. Now we're down to three cards in hand. Alright, let's just. Alright, we hit another land. Cram sessions, scrub mascot exhibition, I guess. Pass. P forces guild. Yep. And just we discard two. That niv would have been great here. And step will just slightly kill this. Alright, well, we'll just mascot exhibition. 
I don't mind if they want to use free removal spells to kill free tokens. Alright, there's removal spell number one. What is this? Okay, well, we're just going to uh, kill that now. And then we'll just attack you for five. I think we've got your gaffer into hand here. We can use a blood token if we have to. Helix is great. Well, Helix this. Eliminate. That's good. So, then let's discard a card. Return a creature card. So, we'll return our Niv. Actually, no. Hold on. We'll let this resolve. That'll die. We gain free because it's the bottom of their library. We can attack here. Right, so we're going for a grind out attrition game here. End step. Let's make them discard a card and return Niv to our hands. So we return Niv, make them discard. Play a land, shock ourselves down to 30 life. That's insane. Reload! Oh, trigger already, so even if they kill this, that's fine with us. Niv will trigger, giving us all of his spells. Yeah. The Niv trigger is going to pull us out of this one. Uh, this one's basically two mid range decks. Um, we want Crooks. Uh, I don't think Kaito is going to do it. Right, I think that'll do for now. I'm still, I'm still under the assumption that Arena spies on us. Because I was just saying at the start of this recording, I thought this was going to be the last game. But now this game starts going incredibly well, which makes me suspicious. I'm going to mulligan. Alright, we'll put Niv at the bottom here. And we'll just play six lands. So, play this. Play a stomping ground. Pass the turn. Necronemia to take out Niv I guess. Oh no. I'm just surprised that's normally the play that these decks make. Uh, well, we are definitely okay for lands for a while. Cram session or Prismari here? I think we cram session. Because honestly, if they just want to uh, foresee us for a cram session, I'd just smile. Alright. This isn't good at all. We have drawn way too many lands here. Okay. Um. We're going to have to reduce to memory here. Well, they'll get a free two to hit us with, but I'm sure it's better than whatever they were synergizing here. 
Oh my word, this is ridiculous. Yes, I will discard a land. I will draw. Okay, that is that is a card. Alright, well we're gonna helix this. I'm hoping that he like just fires off a forties here, because that would just be funny with uh, the current state of our board. No, just hard cast the murderous rider. Okay. Blue and red pretty well represented here. White's actually really well represented, so it's black. We'll discard that. And we will draw. Tyrant scorn. Yeah, might as well. Destroy that. Yep, that's fine that it goes to the bottom of your library. Well, this is <laughs> another wandering mind. I guess we're getting another cram session. Interesting. Alright, so let's go this Carvu into this. We'll draw two cards no matter what here. Yep. Oh my god, okay. Fight, like we'll get the mascot exhibition. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Uh, do we have. Wait, we don't have double black? How the heck do we not have double black here? Right, your mascot exhibition. And Croak, so let's make him discard a card. I can't believe I discarded. Why did I think we had a ton of black? Oh well. Opponents thinking about what they discard, I guess. I discard a murder. That means the other card must also be a murder. Meat Hook Massacre for four. More fuel for Crook, sir. Well, I guess I'm just going to Vanishing Verse this. Move Gigantifer into hand. Just pass the turn. Play Gigantifer. Pass the turn. Okay. We are just running down for a Niv though, the minute we can cast or find a Niv here, we can just reload, or even Edgar in this instance is fantastic because they literally can't kill it. Yeah, there's one choice here, just take it. Black sauce badly for Crook, sir. My opponent is thinking about it, which is 
hilarious because he knows what's in our hand. It's one card. One cramp sessions. Two cramp sessions. So we've done all of our learning we can for the match. Hello? I, I think our opponent is uh, giving up or disconnected. I'd love to check the disconnection status. This deck has got all the fancy uh, removal spells that they could. Well, they're clearly just uh, having the thing. Well, let's give him a Tezzeret. That's you right now, my friend, if you're just going to time out. <laughs> I think they've uh, given up here. This would be an abject ending to this one. I'll try to record if this is the final. Alright, so this is why I want a blacklist like we have in MTGO. I just would like to be able to tell people like, I do not want to encounter this player again because they just decided I'm just going to scum out and time out. Alright, move on to... Right, we'll wrap it up here. <laughs> Historic is a unique kind of beast at the moment. It's probably the format that I'm least enjoying. Like, I still love modern. Modern is like my baby. And Pioneer is quickly coming up as, like, my, uh... My, like... Mm, cool relative that I really enjoy hanging out with but uh, Historic is still just not hitting it for me alright three matches with Historic and what did we learn we learned that apparently Kaito is so ninja like he can show up as a one of in all our opening hands it's very suspicious that the new Mythic from the new set is being constantly pushed to the front of the deck, eh? Where we constantly get it every turn to be shown like, Yeah, look how good he is. Maybe you should craft more. Oh, you don't have wild cards. I guess you should spend money. Alright, Cynical Rant of Wizards. Terrible economy over. Um, the learn deck in this format is pretty fun. I still enjoy it. We got a huge amount of learning done in uh, this in these three matches <coughs> this is not, not the optimal Niv build as we saw with the uh, opponent mirror match with Niv but yeah so we're gonna have a quick yeah that's uh, our three matches of historic probably do a bonus recording with Brawl or something for fun for the weekend but yeah I don't want to burn out on this <laughs> alright thank you